So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced graphing in Premiere Pro. This can work for anything, uh, especially Twixter, uh, scales built in into Premiere Pro so you don't need to use the warp transform effect or any other similar effect from Sapphire or BCC. I'm just going to duplicate this clip over here and just get rid of this scale. So I'm just going to show you how I do my basic scale. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do a scale out. So it's set at 250 at the beginning, keyframe that head towards the end one keyframe back and just reset it if you play it back you can easily tell it looks very uninteresting it's very dull and very stiff clicking on this arrow over here so usually it's like this if you do click on this arrow it's going to bring up this graph i'm sure you've seen this countless times on my previous videos and you also probably know that when i pull this to the left it's going to be better impactful if that's a word now if i do play it back you can see that it looks really good still but it feels more smooth because it speeds up at the beginning then slows down but for some people like me it still looks a little stiff it's not really quick enough you could just duplicate it make it into like two frames and then just like manually keyframe it set it to 400 and then set the second keyframe to i don't know 200 or something but that's not really a good method it turned out awful what you want to do instead is click the first keyframe and you want to pull it to the left you can do it as tight as you want to the left i wouldn't recommend doing so leave like a tiny gap so it's not all the way to the left so around here you can just see it like kind of poke out slightly better than before it's still not as impactful as I want it to be pulling it up as well will make it better playing it back It does look a little better, but it's still very boring You can't really feel the scale as if it's pushing out So what you need to do with this handle is pull it slightly to the right and it will create a small curve that looks like this Immediately you're going to notice that it looks much better I'm going to pull it to the right a little bit more but not too much because if you do that It's going to end up bouncing weirdly. I'll show you what I mean So if I pull it all the way over here and then play it back you can see it completely messes it up so only move it right a tiny bit so let's say around there and you'll notice that this scale looks better and smoother if you do pull it slightly more to the right it will mess it up a little bit it's going to scale out too quick so it will look like this you see how there's like no motion around this area if it would play yeah so around here you can see that there's not really a lot of motion it just zooms out a little but it's mostly happening around the beginning which is not what we want we want it to go quick and then slow really smoothly so i'm just going to hit ctrl z on my keyboard just to go back to what we did originally so yeah this is how it looks you can also do this with twixter i'm just going to increase my video's length really quick now i'm hoping i've already made my twixter tutorial by the time this video is out but what i'm going to do is really quickly twixter this clip so it looks like this 100 at the beginning keyframe that five six seven eight ahead i'm going to set that to around four in fact i'm going to do 12 so i'm just going to move that ahead and then graph it as usual so this is how it looks when i graph normally but if I do pull this to the left slightly up, it looks like this. So it immediately becomes really slow. So it starts off 100, then immediately it drops to 50. Normally it will drop to around 70 to 80, but by pulling it to the left, it drops to 50. So yeah, this does work for Twixter and also scaling and pretty much anything else. With regular graphing, it looks like this, which is all right, but it looks so much better when you add that little piece of extra detail. But anyways, that's all for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. So yeah, peace.